In this video, we'll explore Domino's new feature, Flows. Flows allows you to run multi-step, dependency-aware computations across any mix of infrastructure and languages in a fully traceable and automatically reproducible way. It orchestrates the entire AI lifecycle. Let's walk through an example of an ML model training use case. I'm the data science lead for a major retail company, and I want to train a model on predicting buying behavior I am working on within Domino. I use Domino as I need to be able to develop and execute all of my steps written in multiple languages and collaborate on my deliverables with various stakeholders, all while ensuring compliance and reproducibility. There can be tens and sometimes hundreds of programs and deliverables within each project, with the output data produced by one program being the input data to another. And so it's difficult for me to visualize this complex dependency graph. It's also very important that all of my deliverables produced are automatically versioned and tied to the programs, individuals, and teams that produce them. Let me show you how all of this is easily achievable using flows. Here you can see that I have a visualization of my AI training flow in Domino that I was able to create from a predefined AI Hub project flow template. This particular flow takes CSV datasets as the initial input and produces a model. This view allows me to easily visually verify all of the intricate dependencies across my steps. These dependencies are all defined as code under the hood. Now that I've verified that my dependency graph has been configured correctly, let's kick off a new run of my flow. The initial inputs of flows can be parameterized, allowing me to easily iterate on different flow runs with different starting conditions. As I've gotten some new data in, I want to rerun all of my validated programs with that other data. That is as simple as pointing my flow to the other data stored in a version Domino dataset and hitting launch. This can be a massive time saver as I'm able to reuse the same programs and flow that were built and validated before. Skipping ahead, we can see that my flow is finished executing. Let's go and inspect it directly within the Domino UI. In this first view, I can see a list of all the different flows contained within this project. Just like other assets in Domino, flows are versioned and I can see all the past version history for all these flows. Under the Runs tab, I can see all my previous runs for any flow executed in this project. Inspecting the flow run we just kicked off, I am able to verify each step was executed directly from within the Domino UI. I can also inspect each individual step. Clicking into my prepare data step, for example, I can trace what the input dependencies were. Here we can see that the output for my prepare data step was my processed underscore data CSV file. Here I'm able to visually verify the CSV file that was produced. What is important to note is that every input and output is automatically versioned and immutably tied to each flow step. Clicking details, you can see that each step is actually executing as a domino job. This means flows are able to take advantage of Domino's openness by allowing users to use any tool or language they wish for each individual step and take advantage of Domino's flexibility and in infrastructure by choosing which Nexus data plane each step is executed in. And more importantly, doing this in a fully automated, reproducible way. Here you can see my prepared data step was executed in R in my AWS US data plane. And my train model step is Python on a medium AWS data plane. Finally, let's see how Flows allows for quick debugging and smart rerunning of failed workflows. Here I'm viewing the graph of a previously failed flow run. You can see I'm able to easily visualize which step in my flow caused the pipeline to fail. In this example, it was my train underscore model step. I can then go straight to the job logs to identify the underlying cause of the failure. Once I have fixed the underlying bug and pushed my new program to Git, I then want to rerun my pipeline. Without flows, I would have to rerun the entire pipeline. This would be a waste of compute resources as we can see that most of the programs executed correctly. With flows, I can simply hit recover. This will restart my pipeline from the point of failure and reuse all the automatically cached and versioned outputs from the successful steps of my failed flow run, saving me time and compute costs. We talk this through the lens of an ML model training execution 
as we know how important these features are for this particular use case. However, Flows has applications across many other complex use cases in Domino, such as life science clinical studies and data engineering, to name a few. In this demo, you've seen how Flows builds upon Domino's core tenets of flexibility and reproducibility by extending this to multi-step dependency-aware computations with automatic versioning of inputs and outputs. What you've seen today is only the beginning of what we'll be shipping with Flows. In the next iteration of Flows, we'll be making many improvements to the user experience and introducing the concept of artifact lineage, which is critical functionality to enable analytics.